Sorry about the hiatus. It's been a busy summer. The last time we saw my Volkswagen, I was working on the front suspension. In the last videos, I've gotten most of the suspension back together. This video is getting the tie rod assembly all put together and adjusted and installed. At this point, I am just hoping that all of the replacements that I'm doing will make the car drivable again and eliminate the super shimmy. I hope you enjoy. I have the original tie rods installed to help me get the rest of the suspension assembled, and here I'm pulling out for the last time. Working on your own suspension can cause your car to be very dangerous to you and to others. Do this with extreme care and caution. Have the alignment done as soon as possible by a professional. Here is the tie rod situation. With some general, a little bit looseness in some of the bushings, but this tie rod in is definitely the smoking gun. And that's a huge slop, and it goes like this too which it totally shouldn't. I mean, it should just rotate. The end of the main tie rod should just swivel in its socket. It should not rock and it should not telescope in and out. By setting the new side tie rods to the same lengths as the old ones, I'm basically transferring the old alignment to the new hardware before I install the new tie rod assembly. It's a little hard to tell from the, the position of the pins, but what I'm trying to do is have the circular bodies kind of line up. Uh, that's pretty damn close. Having now adjusted the side tie rods to length to match the old ones, I now attach the side tie rods to the center tie rod. This is the left end of the center tie rod into the steering arm. Outer end of the left tie rod into the steering knuckle. right end of the center tie rod into the idler arm, and finally the outer end of the right tie rod to the steering knuckle. That was the last of the front suspension going in. The next videos will be about the engine and getting the car started. If you like videos about airplanes or Volkswagens or electronics and stuff, please subscribe. Work on your vehicles if you have the chance and never stop figuring stuff out.